Hello everyone and welcome to my Royal Family Fans channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Meghan Markle, in the past year, fulfilled the role of hosting the Archetypes podcast for Spotify. However, it was officially announced earlier this month that both Meghan and Prince Harry have made the decision to discontinue their association with the audio platform. Moreover, their endeavors with Netflix have also encountered obstacles due to the prevailing Hollywood writers' strike, just like numerous others in the industry. According to their spokesperson, while the couple is not attempting to conceal themselves or adopt a low profile, they won't constantly occupy the forefront. They eagerly anticipate spending quality time with their children during the summer season. Recently, speculations have arisen regarding Meghan's children, as some claim that the local community has never caught a glimpse of them. It is worth noting that prior to the birth of Lily, Child Protection Services in Santa Barbara had conducted an investigation into the welfare of Archie while Harry was in London. At the time, CPS confirmed that the address associated with the couple, 765 Rockbridge Road, was not accurate, and furthermore, there was no child of two years and three months residing at that location. What most people find perplexing in their statement is how two children under the age of five can be on a break during the summer. Indeed, their children are too young to be on summer vacation. While it is plausible that certain preschools adhere to a conventional academic year and offer optional summer sessions, if Lily is enrolled in any program, it would likely be daycare, as daycare facilities operate throughout the year. In order to gather more information, we conducted brief interviews with several parents in the Macedo area regarding the summer schedules of their children under five years old, and interestingly, they all provided a consistent response affirming that their children indeed have a summer break. Considering the fact that their kids have yet to reach school age, it raises the question of how they can possibly have time off. Even if they were attending preschool, it is unlikely that two- and four-year-olds would be obligated to adhere to a strict schedule. Consequently, it appears that their children are too young to have summers off. Some have begun to speculate that their decision to lie low can be attributed to advice from WME following recent unfortunate events, and they are employing their children as a convenient excuse. Given these circumstances, it becomes increasingly difficult for anyone to take the couple seriously. Even the principal of Macedo Union School has refuted these claims, which is the institution where it is rumored that the Sussex children are enrolled. I have personally never come across a daycare facility that shuts down for the entire summer period. Moreover, considering Lily's age, it is highly unlikely that she would be attending anything other than daycare. It is conceivable, however, that if Archie is enrolled in preschool, he might have the summer off. Prior to this, in a video, vloggers Tina and Thomas Markle discussed Meghan's past utilization of egg freezing services, which subsequently raised doubts surrounding the true origins of Archie and Willa Betts. Thomas explicitly mentioned that he possesses concrete knowledge of Meghan having frozen her eggs, with intentions of retrieving them in due course. It was implied that she had formulated a plan to employ them due to either an inability or disinclination to conceive naturally, without the assistance of medical interventions or surrogacy. He surmised that she may have used the frozen eggs for Archie, as the time frame of egg retrieval coincided with her pregnancy. Meghan was wholeheartedly devoted to her professional pursuits throughout her twenties. It remains unclear whether Trevor aided her in securing the role in Suits before their marriage or shortly thereafter. It is difficult to envision that she would have willingly interrupted her career trajectory for the sake of a pregnancy if she were not married. Furthermore, during her only confirmed marriage prior to Harry, she was heavily engrossed in her work, to the point where she scarcely spent time with her spouse, eventually leading her to return her wedding rings to him. The rationale behind her exclusion of family members from her wedding stemmed from her fear that, under the influence of alcohol, they might divulge untold stories to the royal family, thus jeopardizing her carefully constructed narrative. Thomas divulged further details on the matter. This ongoing real-life saga unfortunately resembles a soap opera, yet possesses genuine implications, and it is only a matter of time until its inevitable cancellation due to a dearth of fresh material. I predict that within the next year or two, the web of lies will unravel, true parentage will be confessed, and so forth. While it may provide intriguing reading material, it is undeniably disheartening. Personally, I hold hope that Harry will return to England as a prodigal, while simultaneously wishing Meghan the best in her quest for an authentic life. Thank you for watching my channel. See you next time.